My name is Haley. Have you ever learned how to play an instrument? Maybe the guitar? Or the violin? How about the kazoo? Well, if you have, you know that learning an instrument takes cooperation. Cooperation is working together to do more than you can do alone. It's true. To learn an instrument, you need to work with a teacher. You need encouragement and support from your friends and family. And then you need one more thing. Practice! I know all about practice. I had to practice a lot to learn how to play the piano. And at first, it didn't come naturally. I had to make a habit of practicing every day. And little by little, I started to get the hang of it. What wasn't natural at first became more natural. And now, I can make beautiful music. Cooperation can be like learning how to play a new instrument. It may not come naturally to you at first, but if you practice working together, like in today's story, cooperation can become a way of life. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to practice my kazoo some more. I need some work. See you in a little. Go we'll finish your story about the spring festival. Oh, right, yeah, it was amazing. We walked over the bridge and down the hill into this huge field of flowers. What kind of flowers were they? Uh, wildflowers. You belong among the wildflowers. I do, I really do. Then I saw a rabbit with long, long ears. How long were those ears? They were so long! You know, I think that might be a little distracting. Okay, let me just get something. Oh yeah, that's better. <laughs> hey, do you want to tell the story again? No! I'm John! And I'm Brandon, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the So and So Show. Show. We've had a fun time cooperating this month, or as I like to say, co oping Yeah, I recently co opted a bag of spring greens. You cooperated with some lettuce? <laughs> no, no, no. There's a local food co-op that does crop swapping. Oh, so what did you trade for the spring greens? Well, I make my own campfire starter from lint and hair I get out of my dryer. Remind me not to go camping with you. But while I was at the swap, I got to thinking about the so-and-so show and right. how much we depend on cooperation around here. Oh, it's true. Everyone here has to work together to make the show happen. Mm -hmm. If someone wasn't doing their part, the, the show would be completely different. Right. For instance, if we didn't have someone running the camera, it would Whoa. Oh, oh, it'd be terrible. It'd be terrible. Just like that. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy playing on the floor as much as the next person, but yeah, yeah. there's a limit. Right, right, right. So so thank you! Thank you, camera operators! For making a scene. That's right. Okay. Uh, nice. Okay, what about the sound guy? What, oh, yeah. what would we do without his talents? Mm. Oh. oh, that's better. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Oh, oh, let's not forget the hair and makeup artist. Without her, we'd be completely unrecognizable. Yes, thank you, makeup artist, for working together with us and our faces to make us look good. Or at least okay. Yeah. And how could we forget the set decorator and costume designer? Yeah. Yeah, I think our normal clothes are a little loud. What? I said I think our normal clothes are... Oh, just kidding. Thank you, costume designer and set decorator from the bottom of our hearts for making us presentable. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, then, uh, of course, Kellen. Yeah, where would we be without Kellen and his cooperation? What he brings every single week absolutely makes the so-and-so show. Guys, you're embarrassing well, it's me. true, and thank you, Kellen, for helping us make this show happen. Anytime. How about making it happen right now? Ah! It's Bible Story Time with Kellen. You know, one of my favorite parts of doing the so-and-so show is getting to see and hang out with everyone that makes the show happen. Doing the show is a part of my weekly routine, and I always look forward to it. And we always look forward to seeing you, too. After makeup and wardrobe, of course. Oh, of course. So you have a Bible story for us? I do. It's about how the early church had to work together and depend on each other daily. Wow. We can't wait to hear it. Take it away, Kellen. You can read about the beginnings of the early church in the book of Acts. It was written by a guy named Luke. Here's what he wrote. The believers studied what the apostles taught. They shared their lives together. They ate and prayed together. The early church cooperated with one another. And speaking of cooperation, here are two sisters who are always trying to work together to make things better. Dee Dee and Jackie, the cheer squad. What up, ladies? Oh, hey, Kel. I got a question for you both. Oh, hit us up. As twin sisters and as members of a cheer squad, cooperating with one another has to be huge. Kale, we were working together even before we were born. So true. <laughs> but... Do we always work together well? Nah. But we do live together, eat together, and pray together. Amen. Amen. The early church worked together in even more ways. Check this out. All the believers were together. They shared everything they had. They sold property and other things they owned. They gave to anyone who needed something. So the new believers, they lived in a time and a place where it was dangerous to be a follower of Jesus. They had. They had to depend on one another. They had to have each other's back. You know what? Show them what I mean, cheer squad. Let's bring it, Dee Dee! And kick it! Dee Dee, you got my back. Yeah, girl! And I know you got mine. Then let's show them how we do. Got my back, got my back, that's right, I know. Got my back, got my back, got my back, that's right, I know. Got my back. Every day, we're sharing. Every day, we're caring. Need some dough? Here you go. Need a crib? I'm your sis. Got my back. Got my back, that's right, I know. Got my back, got my back, got my back, that's right, I know. Got my back. Slain it as usual, ladies. The early believers shared together, prayed together, worshiped together, and guess what? People noticed. Listen to this. Their hearts were glad and sincere. They praised God. They were respected by all the people. Every day, the Lord added to their group those who were being saved. People saw how the early followers of Jesus treated one another and how they made it a habit of working together and it made those people want to be a part of it. I wonder if that would happen today if we made a habit of cooperation. What do you think, cheer squad? Give me a C. C. Give me two O's. Oh, oh. Give me a P. P. Give me a E. E. Give me a R. We're here to help you see it through. You want to co-op now, that's the way. So make a habit and save the day! Woo! Let's give it up for the cheer squad. Thank you so much, ladies. And I'm pretty sure that will be in my head all day long. Man, that cheer squad is ridiculous. Yes, they are. And they also make an excellent point. The new believers who started the church were able to make such a huge difference because they made a habit of cooperating every single day. Which is, which is something we should all be aiming for. So true. I'll see you guys next time. And hey, thanks for what you do. Right back at you, Kellen. You know, I just thought of someone else on our show that our show couldn't do without. Who's that? Reveal the question.
our special effects team. Yes! Uh, thanks, special effects team. Whoa. How do you cooperate every day? Yeah, I don't know if you know this about me, but I can get... Distracted? Yes. Yeah. So I actually put it on my calendar. I get a little reminder every day. Have you cooperated with someone today? Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. And you know, it doesn't have to be some huge thing. It can be working with a sibling to finish chores. Yeah, or, or helping a classmate understand the assignment. Or just asking your parents, what can I do to help? Oh, oh, oh man, that will blow their mind. 100%. Well, that's all we got. Yeah. Hey, what a great month we had. Yeah, we did. And next week, we're going to start a brand new month with a brand new so-and-so show. So we'll see you then. Bye, everybody. At a brand new time. At a what? Well, I mean, they'll, they'll show whatever time they want, I think. Oh, right. But it, like like calendar date. I don't know. You know, we can't forget the lighting, people. Oh, yeah. Or the gaffer, as it's called in the movie biz. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Without them, you couldn't see us. Yeah. So uh, thank you, lighting people. Got electricians, gaffers, best boys. Yeah, what's a best boy? Uh, it's like the main assistant. Oh, well, I want to be a best boy. Oh, I'm sure you can be. Okay. Oh, the writers? Uh huh. Obviously, we can't do anything without the writers. You know, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true. I think we'd be okay. We, we, we don't have to have writers. Um, for the early followers of Jesus, cooperation was a way of life. They ate together, they prayed together, they shared everything they had, and other people noticed and wanted to find out more. Wouldn't it be cool if we could work together like that? Maybe we can. It really starts with one person seeing another person and then asking, how can I help? Then they come together and then they start cooperating. Then someone else sees and joins in. And before you know it, they're making beautiful music. It may not come natural at first. That's why you have to practice. You need to make a habit of working together with other people. Open your eyes and really look for people who might need something. If you don't see anyone around you who needs anything, try asking, how can I help? You can cooperate and share with others just a little bit every day until it does come natural and it feels like a way of life. The one thing to remember today is this, make a habit of working together. You can't cooperate by yourself. So, Look for ways to work together, and soon you'll be playing a different tune. See you around, everybody.